Okay, so the wall is finished, ready to go. There's that table we used. And uh, you know, when I went back to look for the link for that thing, they were sold out. <laughs> so I put a different, um, from someone else that's selling them on there around the same price. Um, I paid like $239 and the cheapest one I could find was $269, but still not a bad deal. Uh, but the guy that sells these on eBay, he's out of stock. So, anyways, we've got the wall set up. It is all ready to go. We put another piece of three-quarter inch plywood to build up behind this. And then when we put this backer board on here, it came up pretty flush with this. So, and then we just put three pieces on there. And that backer board is fireproof. Um, you use this in your bathrooms behind your um, wall for tiling and stuff like that. But it's great to use for the fireproof. And we will be putting the other two units up there. So we'll have six of these EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverters. Now we have plenty of space in here to add two more breakers. They give you these breakers when you order the 3000 watt inverter and over here we have breakers to shut off our solar um, coming in so we can work on these without having any PV voltage or amps coming in so we've got that one over there and we're gonna use the we have two solar arrays coming in off of this one over here we have it just mounted out of the way so we're gonna use that, but we're gonna to have to change those breakers. Those were for our grow watts. So we had like 200 amp breakers on there. Now we're gonna to have to go to like a, uh, these are 20 amp breakers, I believe on these. So we wanna keep our amps uh, less than 20 amps coming into this. So um, we'll have to get some more of those 20 amp breakers. And we'll put those on there so we'll be able to shut down our solar coming in. And we'll actually have um, six different arrays. Actually, we have a seventh array that we don't use, but in the summertime. So um, we'll be able to use that one in the summer. Um, but we might just put a separate um, one of these up that's two, um, that's 120 volt so that um, we have, I think it's 20 or 22 panels on that array at 250 watts. So um, that's like over 4,000 watts. We could easily run a mini split or two, actually two mini splits with it. Um, anyways, just wanted to show you the wall. It's finished and just keeps getting neater and neater on this backdrop. Now this one, we won't have any use for anymore because we're tying everything into this one. And you can see, we still have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 more spaces. Um, but these two are not being used and this one's not being used. So that's 19, 20, 20, 22 spaces left. We have plenty of room in here. And this is all off grid. So none of this is tied to our grid, our uh, like our hot water heater back there's tied to the grid. And uh, eventually that's gonna be going on our off grid. So we don't use the hot water heater that much, but when we get one more of these batteries, that'll give us 10 batteries, that'll be 50 kilowatt. We definitely could run that hot water heater um, off of that and all we have to do is run the wire. You can see the wire going into the wall there, coming out of the wall there to go into it. Just have to disconnect that, turn the breaker off on the grid, and then run the wire up over here and into the electrical panel. So pretty easy to do. It's probably only a 15 foot run, but there it is, nice and cleaned up and looking good anyways 
please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.